Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Good evening, teacher. Here. Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are Good you? Evening, teacher. Hello. hello, hello. How are you? How are you? How was your day? What did you do today? Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, Guadalupe. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Bueno. Bueno. Excellent. Is it raining where do you, where you live? Is it raining where you live? Here it's raining, teacher. Yes, teacher, it's raining. Really? Yeah, over here it's raining also. That's. I didn't even go to the gym today because I didn't want to go out in the rain. All right, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What do you remember about yesterday's class? Was and were. Was and were. Can you give me an example? I was, example? Um, I was in the, uh, in the supermarket yesterday. I Okay, I was at the at supermarket yesterday. Okay, good. Another example, I was at the supermarket yesterday. For example, I was working in the afternoon. I was working in the afternoon. Afternoon, correct. Good. Another example. Yes. I was buying a new car. I was buying a new car. Very good. Uh, who can give me an example with were? Were. An example with were. Give me an example with were. For, for example, teacher, you were happy. You were happy. You were happy. Very good. Okay. Hi, Gabriela. Um, hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, for example, we were all friends. We were all friends. Good, yes. Elena. They were cooking. They were cooking. Good, good. Jose, they were cooking. Elena. Good evening, teacher. Um, for example, you were teaching English yesterday. You were teaching English yesterday. Excellent. Yes, correct. You were teaching English yesterday. Good, good. Another example. All right, let's go ahead and check the activity on the platform over here. This one is coming from section number 5.2. Section number 5.2. Did everybody do this section already? Did everybody do this section already? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, let me have one volunteer. I would like for you to help me do the first one. My family and I, Tamar. My family and I were all born in South Korea. Excellent. We're all born in South Korea. Thank you. Another volunteer for number two. 
Excellent. We, Alba. We, Alba levantó la mano. Go ahead, Alba. We uh -huh. weren't born in the USA. We weren't born in the USA. Good, good. Okay, Miguel, the next one. I was born in the city of... In Keon. In Keon. In Keon. I don't remember what in Keon means, teacher. Uh, in Keon is the name of a city in Korea. Ah, uh -huh. it's like the downtown? It's like a downtown, correct. Like San Salvador to El Salvador. It's a city. In Keon. In Keon is the name of a city. In Korean. In Korea. In Korea. Okay. Well, I was uh, born in the city of Incheon, and my brother was born there too. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. The next one, Gabriela. Okay. My parents were, weren't born in Incheon. Very good. Thank you. Elena, continue. Um, they were born in the capital, Se Seco? Seoul. 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 It's in Korea. Uh, and the last one, another volunteer, the last one. One more volunteer, the last one. Alguien que no haya participado? Que quiera participar. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, in South Korea, my father was business and my mother was a teacher. Very good. Uh, repeat after me. A businessman. A businessman. A businessman. A businessman. Excellent. Okay, good job, guys. That is correct. Now, does anybody have any questions in regards to this activity? Any questions about the vocabulary or the meaning of these words? Questions? Anybody? Somebody questions? No? Okay. No. All right, so all of these are some examples of how to use the simple past for the be verb. Who can give me a personal example using the be verb? Who can give me a personal example using the be verb? Somebody. Somebody? Okay, Tamar, thank you for raising your hand. Okay. Uh, she was shopping in the department store. He was shopping in the department store. Excellent. Good example, good example. He was shopping in the department store. Now, what I would like for us to do is go ahead and let's continue. And we're gonna be looking at the following section, which is going to be section 5.3. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of B. Additionally, you will also learn how to express years. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formular y responder preguntas con el pasado del verbo ser. Además, también aprenderán a expresar los años. Questions with the past of be. So, let's look at the first example. The first example says, were you born in the U.S.? Were you born in the U.S.? The response is, yes, I was. 
or no, I wasn't. Uh, I can say, was your brother born in 1984? The response, yes, he was, or no, he wasn't. Teacher. Hi. Sorry, el video dice 3.4. Oh, really? Oh, quizás está mal el, el nombre del video. Ah, sí, ya vi, ¿verdad? Que sí, aquí dice 3.4 y aquí dice 5.4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know what happened right there. But we are in the section 5.4 on the platform. Okay. All right, so let's look at the next example. Uh, were your parents born in Incon? What is the response? Yes, they were, or no, they weren't. If we're going to be looking at the other side, where were you born? And you say, I was born in Korea. Uh, if you're talking about the birthday, when was he born? He was born in 1985. Uh, what city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. <clears throat> Uh, what would be another question? What would be another example? Who can give me another example? Using these, this structure. Using where, when, what, and the be verb. Or where, was, or were. So, on this side, you have questions with the be verb, where, were, was, e, were, right? That's the be verb. These are be verb questions. Be verb questions. Over here, on this side, where we have where, when, e, what, these are called W, H questions, okay? So let's listen to the video and take notes. Let's listen to the video and take notes. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of be. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of be. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years. 1906, 1917, 1999, 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make 
yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end, born in the US. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was, or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. All right. At uh, this moment, I would like for you to write some examples over here on the discussion forum. You're going to click where it says Añade una publicación. And you're going to write questions with the past of the verb. Questions with the past of the verb. You're going to put titulo and you're going to paste right there. And I want you to give me five examples one, two, Three, four, five. For example, where were you born? When is your birthday? Was your mom born in San Salvador? Were you born in San Salvador? Where are you from? And then I want you to go to where it says enviar. And you will go ahead and save the information right there. Any questions at this moment? Any questions at this moment? No question. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and allow you to share your screen and I want you to work in groups and complete the activity together. Ready, let's go. One participant can share the screen. One participant can share the screen.
en la discusión del grupo. Ah, vaya, vaya, quiero ver. Pueden ver la pantalla. Sí. Vaya, yo tengo una. Sí. Esta es la que tengo yo. No sé si tienen alguna ustedes. A mí se me viene... Sí, sería ese aspecto de la... Digamos... Podemos pedir ayuda aquí. Pero... Escuche. ¿Puede uh -huh. ser el web o el WAS, verdad? Right. Eh, ¿Quién va a compartir la pantalla? Mm. Veo que nadie está compartiendo la pantalla. Eh, hay una consulta que, que, que le queríamos yeah. hacer si se, es con respecto a la a la, a la esta tarea del grupo. De, ¿Sería solamente la, la pregunta? Sin respuesta. Correct. Así, así como yo la hice. Solo la pregunta. Where were you born? Solo pregunta. When is your birthday? Solo pregunta. When was your mom born? In, was your mom born in El Salvador? Solo pregunta. Were you born in San Salvador? Solo pregunta. Uh -huh. Sí, esa era la, la consulta. Entonces, vamos a proceder a hacer las preguntas. Gracias. Thank you. Yes. ¿Quién va a compartir la pantalla? No, yo no puedo. No, yo, teacher. Yo estoy en computers. ¿Alguien allí que pueda de los cinco que estamos? Esta. Sí. Vaya. Estamos hablando de... No, sí, sí, sí. De, Estamos hablando de, de él. De, sí. Ah. Ok, excelente. Uh, ¿Quién más? Eh, tengo una, pero me ayudan compañero. Uh -huh. Your sister born in 1992. Okay, uh, excelente. ¿Quién, ¿Quién puede compartir pantalla? ¿Quién tiene ahorita para poder compartir pantalla? El teacher está preguntando ahorita. All right, all right. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Who wants to read their examples? Let me have one volunteer. Who wants to read the examples? Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer to read the examples. Amar. Mm -hmm. Los cinco. Leo. 
Yes, please. Okay. When were is your party? Where were your country? Eh, one moment, one moment. Eh, ¿Puedes repetir la primera de nuevo, por favor? When, where is your party? Okay. When, where is your party? Eh, aquí tenemos dos verbos to be. Tenemos is, que es presente, y were, que es pasado. Y los dos son el verbo to be. Aquí tendría que ser eh, when, when is your party, ¿verdad? Porque nos estamos refiriendo a algo del futuro. When is your party? ¿Cuándo será tu fiesta? O podemos decir, when is your party going to be? Para futuro. O digamos, when will your party be? Para futuro. Pero digamos que queremos preguntar, ¿cuándo fue tu fiesta? Ahí sería, when, when, ¿quién me puede ayudar? ¿Cuándo fue tu fiesta? When were, when were you? Mm. When was your party? Very good. When was your party? Uh -huh. So ahí depende si estamos hablando del pasado, del presente o del futuro. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, continue please. Um where where your country? Where? Where's your country? Where were your country? Así? Yes. Where were your country? Eh, eh, quiere preguntar a dónde está tu país? Mm -hmm. Ahí sería where is your country? ¿A dónde está tu país? Yo creo que es como esa le hicimos en grupo. No sé si ahí el compañero se quería referir quizás donde vivía antes o algo así. Ah, ok, ok. Ahí sería where, where did you used to live? Where did you used to live? Uh -huh. ¿A dónde vivías antes? Ok. The next question. Teacher, eh, Hi, sí, yo tengo Andrea. una consulta. Teacher, una... Hi, Cuando... Andrea. Hi, teacher. Cuando pone when was your party, ¿por qué ocupa el auxiliar eh, was en nowhere? Eso ah. me gusta también, teacher. Ajá, porque your party es un singular. Es un... Uh, digamos, third person singular. The party se considera third person singular. Party. Third person singular. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, si tú dices, ¿cuándo fue tu graduación? When was your graduation. Porque también es considerado graduation es third person singular. Do you understand? A little bit. Yes. Ajá. Eh, el uh, sujeto, el sujeto. Uh, give me one second, Miguel. El, el sujeto, when was your graduation? Y el sujeto, when was your party? ¿Cuál es el sujeto de esas dos preguntas? Party. 
Ok, en mm. una es party y en la otra es... Graduation. Graduation. So, ese es el sujeto de la oración. Ahora, el sujeto no es plural. Party no es plural. Graduation no es plural. Es un evento. So, el evento es considerado tercer persona singular. ¿Cuándo fue tu boda? When was your wedding? ¿Cuándo fue tu baby shower? When was your baby shower? ¿Cuándo fue tu bautismo? When was your baptism? Dígame, Miguel. Uh, teacher, no, lo que usted estaba explicando muy bien y sumando un poquito, uh, incluso si usted eh, no quisiera poner el your wedding, uh -huh. eh, usted podría escribir perfectamente when was it. Ah, correcto. When was it. O digamos una reunión. When uh -huh. was the meeting. Sí, correcto. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Yes, Rocío. Gracias, Miguel. Good night, teacher. Uh, Hi, good example, evening. Good evening. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, we can make sentences only with what and where without uh, uh, using the WH question. Will it be correct? For yes. example, uh, Where are you happy with her? Very good. Were you happy? Were happy you were you happy with, with her? her Excellent. Example? That is correct. Oh, uh, were you my classmate? Were you my classmate? Excellent. Perfect. Good job. Yes, they are correct. It's okay, teacher. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, another question or another example. Uh, Kevin, Alba. Good evening, teacher. Hi. I have a question. Yes. Um, what is um, uh, the, the first... Uh, uh, palabra, no me acuerdo cómo se dice. Word. Uh, word. 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 Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 where, where. Where? Mm -hmm. No, la otra, la otra. Where? Esa, esa. Okay. Yes. Uh, where is the past tense of the be verb? Uh, it is an irregular verb. You have was, eh, were, is, are, eh, be, am, been. Todos son el mismo verbo. Being. Todos son el mismo verbo, solo diferente forma del mismo verbo. Es el verbo del cero estar. ¿Esa era su pregunta, Kevin? Pero es en qué momento se puede usar, teacher. Ah, para... para diferen, digamos, para diferenciarlo con el was. Oh, ok. Eh, para diferenciarlo con el was, el was se usa cuando estamos utilizando el tercer persona singular. Third party, third person singular. Cuando el sujeto es third person singular. Usamos el was. Cuando el sujeto es primer persona o plural, usamos el were. Ok, ok. Esta, esta... 
está incorrecta. Por eso la puse aquí. Para que vean que no es así. Que es así. When was your party? So, party, digamos que, digamos que no fue solamente una fiesta. Digamos que fueron una serie de fiestas. ¿Qué voy a usar? Was or were? Were. When were. were. Were, ¿verdad? Yo voy a decir, ¿cuándo fueron las fiestas? Cuando es plural, voy a decir, when, when were the parties. O digamos que fue un par de bodas, no solo fue una. When were the weddings. Okay. O, o digamos que son varios niños los que nacieron. When were they born? So, el, el were es para plural. O y también para el you, ¿verdad? When were you born? When were you born? Si es singular. ¿Cuándo fue la fiesta? When was the party? Singular, una fiesta. ¿Cuándo fue la boda? When was the wedding? Como es singular, tenemos el was. Digamos que solo fue un bebé. When was he born? Uh -huh. ¿Esa era su pregunta? Sí, teacher. Hoy sí. Okay. 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 ¿Alguien Thank más? You. Yes, sir. ¿Alguien más? ¿Preguntas, consultas? Somebody, somebody. Questions, questions. Anybody, anybody. No, teacher. Okay, okay. Ya, yeah, pregunten, guys. Si no preguntan, uh -huh. yo asumo que usted entiende. Y si no entiende y no pregunta, I can't help you. Alba. Ay, Alba levantó la mano. I have a question. Yes. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre where y where? Eh, la diferencia entre where y where. Con W-H. Ajá, en la pronunciación. Ah, la pronunciación... Es que la WH se escucha la H. Where, where, where. Eh, en el verbo to be, where, where. No se escucha la H. Where, ah. where, where y were, were. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Eh, ¿Quién más tenía la pregunta? Elena, creo que era usted. Eh, yes, teacher. Eh, solo para corroborar. Yeah. Eh, for example, the was se usa para I, you, eh, he, she, and it. Right? I, I was, he, was uh -huh. she, she was, was it, it was was he el were you were we were, we were they were they were así siento yo que que es un poco más fácil para poderlo diferenciar como okay. va el was y el word. Correct. Correct. Así como estaba diciendo Miguel, uh -huh. que para reemplazar el evento, en vez de decir la boda, the wedding, podemos decir it. Uh -huh. O en vez de decir la reunión, podemos decir it. Ajá. Uh -huh. Correcto. Good. Ok, teacher. Thank yes. you. Yes. Ok. Anybody else? Anybody else? Ok. Let's go ahead and just order to tomar la asistencia. 
So when I call your name, please say present. Si usted ve que su compañero está aquí, pero no ha levantado la mano o no ha dicho present, pero vio que aquí está y escribió en el chat, please let me know. Eh, this is... Okay, let me see. The first one is Alba. Present. Thank you, Alba. And this is the, let me see. We are on the 13th. Okay, present. Uh, let me have Alison. Alison. En el ah. chat eh, mencionó. En el chat escribió. Uh -huh. Present. Ok, lo vamos a hacer con thumbs up. Thank you. Let's go with Andrea. Present teacher. Very good. Let me have Carlos. Present teacher. Excellent, Carlos. Uh, Claudia Constante. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Escalante. Claudia Escalante. Okay, absent. Uh, let me have Dalila. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, let me have Daniela. Present let teacher, I guess I. Good job. Let me have Diana. Present. Thank you, Diana. Let me have Delmi. Present teacher. Excellent. Let me have Elena. I'm here, teacher. Very good. This one dropped out. Let me have Gabriela Orellana. Present, teacher. Good job. Uh, let me have Hazer. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Jefferson. Present teacher. Excellent. Joanna. Present. Thank you. Jose Montes. Present teacher. Good. Jose Rodriguez. Present teacher. All right. Jose Rodriguez. Thank you. Let me have Kevin. Present teacher. Thank you, Kevin. Crisia. Present teacher. Excellent. Laura. Present teacher. Good job. Miguel. Present teacher. Very good. Ovidio. Okay. Awesome. Pamela. Pamela is absent. Okay. Let me have Patricia. All right. Patricia, Patricia. creo que escribió algo ahí en el chat, teacher. Oh, okay. Dijo que por Andy, aquí está Luis Lindo. Buenas noches. Por motivo de salud, no podré estar en la clase de hoy. Gracias. Patricia, anda a ver. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let me have. Sabrina. Good job, good job. Eh, Guadalupe. Present teacher. Excellent. 
eh, Tamar. Present teacher. All right. Telma. Present teacher. Good job. All right. So we got good attendance. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, continue. We finished the attendance. Let's go ahead and move forward to the next exercise. For the next exercise, we are going to be working from section number 5.5, knowledge check. Did everybody do this activity already? Did everybody do this activity already? Yes. Not because, oh, yes. Okay. Yes, all right. All right. Uh, go ahead, Miguel. Let me let's do the first one, please. Uh, where were you born? Hmm? Um, I, in Hiroshima, Japan. Excellent. In Hiroshima, Japan. Thank you. Thelma, number two. Yes. Uh, number two. Oh, I grew up in Tokyo. I grew up in Tokyo. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo, right? A donde creciste? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. ¿Cómo puedo preguntar a dónde compraste esa blusa? ¿Cómo puedo preguntar? Ahí está preguntando a dónde creciste. Where did you grow up? ¿Cómo puedo preguntar a dónde compraste esa blusa o esa camisa o ese celular? Where did, where did you buy? Where did you buy that blue t-shirt? Where did you buy that blouse? Correct. Or t-shirt or cell phone or whatever. Good. Good. Eh, ¿Cómo hago la pregunta? ¿A dónde haces tus compras? Digamos como rutinario. Aquí estoy siendo específico. ¿A dónde compraste esta blusa? Pero ¿cómo pregunto a dónde haces tus compras? Where did you, mm -hmm. where did did you, you shop? shopping? Very good. Where do you do your shopping? Excellent class. I like it. I like it. The next one, number three, number three, one volunteer, number three, one volunteer. Tamar, Alba, number four. How was your first day of school? Mm -hmm. It was a little scary. It was a little scary, right? Very good. How was your first day of school? It was a little scary. So, quiero que no tengáis que el, el verbo to be was y were se utiliza como para expresar el sentimiento o el feeling. Por ejemplo, aquí le pregunta, how was your first day of school? ¿Cómo te fue el primer día de clase? Y le responde, it was a little scary. Fue un poco miedoso. O si el teacher les hace la pregunta, eh, digamos, los lunes, les pregunta, how was your weekend? Right? Ahí le está preguntando, ¿cómo les fue el fin de semana? O alguien te pregunta, ¿cómo estuvo la movie? ¿Cómo estuvo la película? ¿Fuiste al cine? How was the movie? Ok. O digamos que en la mañana tuvieron reunión y el compañero no fue. Y te pregunta, ¿cómo fue la reunión? How was 
how was the meeting? Ok, y tú dices, ah, fue aburrida, fue interesante, fue informativa. Ok, so el was también se utiliza para preguntar cómo, cómo te fue o cómo fue. ¿Cómo estuvo la comida? How was the food? ¿Cómo te fue en tu viaje? How was your trip? Ok, excellent. All right, Alba, number three. Uh, four and then Jose, five. How was your first friend in school? Her name was Yumiko. Bye, aquí la pronunciación no sería how, aquí sería who. Who? Who? Okay. Who was your first friend? Okay, excellent. Jose, okay. number five. Uh, what was? She was really friendly. Very good. He was really friend. She was really friendly. So, recordemos también, guys, que el what was he like o what was she like aquí no te está preguntando qué le gusta a ella o qué le gusta a él aquí si alguien te dice por ejemplo what is your father like cómo es tu papá ahí te está preguntando cómo es tu papá y tú dices él es serio he is Serious. Pero si tú dices, por ejemplo, ¿qué le gusta a tu papá? Ahí sería, what does your father like? Ahí tú dices, ah, él le gusta el fútbol. He likes uh, soccer. So, no confunda eh, la pregunta. Ok, the next one, number six. Number six. Why did you take this class? Yes, Gabriela levantó la mano. <laughs> okay. Why do you do take this class? I want to improve my English. I English. want. I wanted to improve my English. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. So that is the simple past. Excellent work. Uh, at this moment, does anybody have any questions in regards to this example? Questions in regards to this example, somebody. Questions, questions. Anybody? Sobre las preguntas o cómo formular las preguntas. Questions. Nobody. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using negative contractions. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usas abreviaciones negativas. Eh, ¿Quién me puede dar una negative contraction? What's a negative contraction? For example. One example. Somebody... I wasn't eating. Okay, good. I wasn't eating. I wasn't eating. No estaba comiendo. Good. Another example of a contraction. They weren't playing soccer, for example. Excellent. They weren't playing soccer. Yes. Good job. Negative um, contraction. Word. Mm -hmm. We 
weren't playing ba basketball. Okay, we weren't playing basketball. Good, good. All right, so these are just a couple of examples. Let's go ahead and watch the video and analyze the pronunciation. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't wasn't doesn't didn't they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry i don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea these aren't their swimsuits they can't swim he wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today a quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Right, guys, uh, for this activity, I would like for you to, practice, your turn to practice the pronunciation. And I want you to practice the pronunciation, and then I want you to record yourself on Vocaroo. You're going to record yourself on Vocaroo, and then uh, put the recording in the discussion forum at the bottom. Right now, only practice. Ready? Let's go. Can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, um, la última, ¿cómo se dice? Didn't, didn't. didn't. Uh -huh. No tengo, no, no logré capturar la pantalla de la, el texto que el teacher nos compartió. Pero sí, sí es, es contracción de did not, didn't. Ajá, uh -huh. Ahí están, eso sería. Éxito. Así es. They didn't get it. Así es, aquí está. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't. Didn't. Didn't. Teacher. 
Yes. Una consulta, ahorita enviaríamos todos la pronunciación. Sí, ahorita solo sería practicar y después ah, puede okay. cada quien grabarse y subirlo a su plataforma. Ok. Eh, voy yo entonces. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Good. Uh -huh.